The key to understanding fluid dynamics is the understanding of momentum transfer. If you know fluid statics and you are just starting fluid dynamics, then this video is for you. I'll give you a quick yet commanding overview on momentum transfer using simple pictures and animations. Watch until the end and you will gain a lot of momentum for your study. Momentum transfer is every event in our life and it has significant engineering applications. There are four types of momentum transfer, namely from solid to solid, from solid to fluid, from fluid to solid, and from fluid to fluid. For both solids and fluids, Momentum difference is the driving force for momentum transfer. For solids, momentum is transferred from a high momentum object to a low momentum object when the objects come into contact. Unlike solid, fluid has a much weaker intermolecular binding. Therefore, fluid elements are free to move relative to each other. As the constituting fluid elements take up different velocities, the fluid will be seen to change in shape. That is, it will deform. In fact, the tendency to deform continuously and indefinitely is the defining characteristic of fluid. The momentum of fluid is quantified on a per unit volume basis. As with solid, momentum is transferred from high momentum fluid elements to low momentum fluid elements. Because the fluid density is usually constant, we can say that momentum is transferred from high velocity fluid elements to low velocity fluid elements when the fluid elements come into contact. For fluids, momentum transfer always takes place by two mechanisms at the same time, convection and diffusion. In convection, the fluid element carries the momentum from point A to point B. In diffusion, the fluid element contacts another element and transfers the momentum to it. I will call momentum convection, momentum transport, and momentum diffusion, momentum transfer. In my channel, I will uphold this distinction between momentum transport and momentum transfer, although some books use the two terms interchangeably. Momentum convection and diffusion have some very interesting differences. Two interesting differences are, first, momentum diffusion depends on viscosity, whereas the momentum convection does not depend on viscosity. Second, momentum diffusion can go against the flow direction, whereas momentum convection cannot go against the flow direction. Momentum is transported or transferred in the form of momentum flux. The momentum flux associated with momentum convection is called convective momentum flux, while that associated with momentum diffusion is called diffusive momentum flux. Both types of fluxes have the same unit, that is the unit of stress, Newton per meter square. The total momentum flux is convective momentum flux plus diffusive momentum flux. Momentum flux causes stress and force not only between the fluid elements themselves, but also on the solids that the fluid elements come into contact with. Because momentum diffusion takes place in all directions, the resultant stresses and forces come in all magnitudes and directions, and may vary with position and time. The multifarious nature of stress is the multifarious nature of stress is described conveniently by the stress tensor. However, it's important to note that Convective momentum flux is not considered for the derivation of stress tensor and only diffusive momentum flux is considered in the derivation of stress tensor. That's all from me for a beginner story on momentum transfer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section below how much momentum did you gain by watching this video. If you didn't get any momentum, I suggest you watch the video one more time. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'm Kyle Tan, see you in my next videos.